Yo, what's going on guys? X-Ray Hawk here. Today what I'm going to go ahead and bring you guys is going to be a brand new video discussing the top 10 cards in the new Scarlet and Violet set, uh, which is going to be Stellar Crown, which is I believe is going to release around September 13th. Um, like I said, this is my personal list, so if you disagree or anything like that, you can go ahead and put it down in the comments. You can put your top 10s or your top 5s or which ones I got completely wrong. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and hop right into it. At number 10, we have Doc Spun. Uh, this card I really, really, really like. It stood out to me, especially because uh, this set actually has a lot of food items in the background of the cards, which is a little bit funky. So I think this this Pokemon is perfect for this card. Um, it's sitting on the table kind of like it's a little bit of part of the food, uh, which I hope it's not because it's, uh, it's a pretty cute image and stuff like that. So I think a lot of people would be into this card. Uh, but for me, it's at number 10 just because I think other cards are better. But I think a lot of people will like this card, and I think this card is uh, very nice. At number 9. Uh, we got Joltik, which is a Pokemon that a lot of people seem to love the hell out of, which I do too. I think he's just small, and uh, he's kind of an interesting Pokemon for me. And I think this card, uh, it looks, I wouldn't say generic, it looks very simple. They're just kind of just lightning bolts, uh, but him being in the top left of the corner looks pretty cool to me. I'm not really too sure why, but I think the full art just... It just looks nice. It looks clean. There's not. Uh, there's a lot going on, but it feels like cohesive. It doesn't feel like just a mess of stuff. And he looks small, but I don't know. He looks kind of cool to me, so that's why I put him at number nine. At number eight, uh, we got a Pokemon which I'm not the biggest fan of his design, uh, which is Tordinator. But I think this card looks phenomenal. I think if you put a different Pokemon on there, it would look better. But everything around it just looks really nice. Like it looks like it's coming out of a cave, the water, uh, and it just looks pretty unique. It looks really detailed as well. There's like mountains in the back. Uh, but yeah, this is a pretty solid card. I think I would definitely, definitely be hyped if I packed this one. The next card that we got is Arculodon. Uh, I'm not too sure if I said that right. I think I did. Uh, but if not, make sure to correct me here in the comments. Uh, this is coming in at number seven. Uh, it's not so much that the Pokemon I think is really cool, which which it is kind of cool, but it's just that you don't really see these type of artworks too often. And uh, I'm newer to Pokemon, so I'm not 100% sure if this is common, but uh, I've never really seen too many cards where they're kind of just like, this looks like a festival or maybe he's like by a store or something like that. And you can tell all the kids are looking at him and even that old person, I don't know if it's a lady or a guy, but even they look kind of amazed, and this guy's just out in the wild, and I think it looks pretty cool, pretty unique, I haven't really seen too many cards like this one, so that's why it's coming in at number 7. Next up, I got Meditate, I think this card looks phenomenal, I think they did an amazing job, uh, the little Pokemon actually has a lot of, uh, what do you call it, like you, you, I guess you would say it has like, like some personality, it looks like he's trying to meditate, and that little bird, I guess, is annoying the hell out of him. I'm not too sure what that Pokemon is called. Like I said, I haven't been collecting Pokemons for Pokemon cards for too long. Uh, the 151 set kind of brought me back into it, and I'm trying to just kind of get a feel for it, and uh, this new set looked kind of cool to me, so I started looking around. But I love uh, these cards where there has, like, a different Pokemon in the back, and this guy just looks like he's in his natural habitat doing the... Uh, meditating i guess it's kind of in his name uh and it looks pretty cool and it looks like you can't concentrate so uh for me it's at number six i think this card it would be extremely cool to have in my collection all right halfway through the list we got raboot which i believe is is kind of a newer pokemon i think a lot of people like this evolution line uh for me uh being a big soccer fan this card looks extremely cool it looks like he's kicking up a ball maybe like he's gonna kick a snowball to someone uh so it kind of gives him like a personality like he's kind of reckless he's kind of you know goofing around and stuff like that but he still looks kind of mean mugging uh, he looks pretty cool to me, uh, and I, I haven't seen this card in person, but uh, I feel like it's going to look a lot better than this picture. I don't think I have the, hi the highest quality picture in the world, so I think this card, uh, like, in person, I think is going to be extremely sick. It might be higher in the list, uh, but for me, it's at number five, still a super, super cool card. At number four, I got Lilip. I don't know if I said that right, uh, but this card looks absolutely sick. 
Uh, it looks like this lady's just living her best life, and she has a, uh, a rug of Lily. It looks like he has a whole bunch of plants around it, and the Pokemon just fits in it. It looks like it's at a home, even though it's not out in the wild. It's uh, in somebody's apartment or house, but it still looks pretty sick. It looks like it's doing pretty good for itself. I really like the colors around it. I think everything in this card looks really, really good. Uh, definitely worthy of a top five at least for me. It was between this one or a boot, but I think Lily Leap's a little bit better for me. At the number three spot, cracking the top three, which I know is going to be a little bit controversial, is going to be the Terrapagos EX. This card, I've seen a lot of people put it at number one or saying like this is going to be the best card in the entire set. And although I do think it looks really nice and it has a lot going for it, it for itself uh, i really like the uh the border where it has the rainbow and stuff like that i think that looks really really sick and the pokemon looks pretty cool uh but there's just a lot going on i think there's just too much going on i, I usually like the cards when there's something simple about them yet like it looks absolutely fantastic and this one has a lot going on i think it looks extremely sick and i think it might be the chase card but definitely definitely up there for me i think just the uh the next two the top two are just like the absolute best, uh, at least for me, since I'm like an OG Pokemon fan. I, I wouldn't say like OG, like I know all of them. More like I was just there for the original 151. Uh, and then I'm coming back into it, looking at them. So those definitely, definitely have my heart. At the number two spot, we have Squirtle. It was, it was, this one was extremely hard to pick between one or two. Uh, I'm not even sure which one I like a little bit better. I think I just like the other one a little bit better, but I think this card is extremely sick. Like I said, I love when there's other Pokemons uh, around it. So like the Sapdos EX uh, from 151 where it's him, but they still have the other two birds. Uh, the Meditite one where they have the other bird in the background and this one where they have Pidgey in the back. I think this looks extremely sick, especially this one. It's like in a balcony playing in a pool uh, with the Pidgeys. I think this is going to be a lot of people's favorites. Uh, and it's definitely, definitely going to want to be in everybody's collection. I think everybody's going to want to go for this card. Everybody's going to be super psyched if they pack it. Uh, and then at number one, with no surprise, that one is going to be the Bulbasaur. I think this card looks extremely nice. Uh, so it has the same thing going for itself where it's in the uh, in like an apartment or something like that. It looks like it's hanging off like a window. Maybe this one's a house. But it has a lot of plants nearby. It has the pages in the background, which I love. Uh, and it just looks happy, bro. It's just it's just sleeping there. It looks comfy. It looks like it's having a good time soaking up the sun. So I think this one's definitely, definitely number one for me. Uh, but that pretty much does it for the list. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, I haven't made a YouTube video in a very long time. Um, and uh, so I'm just getting back into it. Uh, stuff like that. I do plan on doing some pack openings. Uh, maybe for 151, I'm trying to complete the binder. I don't know if you guys would be interested in seeing that. Um, I'm also really trying to collect the Paudea Fates uh, set. I don't know if people are still into that. I'm not too sure. Like I said, I just got back into the hobby. I used to collect them when I was like a little kid. And, uh, now that I'm a little bit more grown, I kind of got back into it. Uh, but it's been pretty interesting for me, but let me know in the comments what you guys want to see. Uh, make sure you guys like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And, uh, yeah, it's been X-Ray Hawk. Peace.